Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today is January of 2023. It's a little bit cold outside, so we've taken the time to make some changes to the galley in the Alto. So over the last few weeks, I've made some design changes to the existing shelving system that allow us to pull them all the way out and look down on the storage rather than trying to reach in and claw back. We really do think it's a better way. Now we can see what we've got, we can find the things that we've lost, and we can make better use of the space that we've got. So I'm gonna go through what I've done to the system step by step. I'll show you the before and after product. Uh, if you're handy, you can probably do this by yourself. If not, maybe you can get a friend to help you, but I think it's a good investment as far as storage is concerned. It really makes sense and it really helps utilize the existing storage that's in the system now. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So currently these shelves only come out about halfway. They're tethered with this piece of cloth at the back here that prevents overextension, uh, which could be catastrophic if you've got any kind of load on these. So we're going to work on something and replace these um, sliders that they've got in the side here with some full motion drawer slides uh, with soft close. But that's going to entail some careful measurement, maybe some trimming. I'd like to add another piece of aluminum around the side. That will also give us something to screw the drawer slides to. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to measure this now and we're going to get a tape measure in all the way to the back. So right to the back wall on top of that L bracket to the front piece of wood, I'm calling it 21 and three quarters of an inch. Uh, that would be the maximum length of the drawer slide that we want. We can probably do it with a 20 inch, which will give us the actual length of the drawer, which is about 20 and three quarters of an inch. Okay, now that everything is in place, the front doors are back on and adjusted, we can go over the changes that I made to the galley shelving system. So we're gonna go ahead and open the door and have a look inside here. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the molding that goes around the galley cabinet. We had to provide three relief locations for the slides. If we didn't, the slide would hit it. So now when we pull it out, we have that space that allows full extension. Equally important is on the other side, we took the doors off, we took this molding off, and we shaved them down by 3 16 of an inch and reinstalled the molding. That gave us a full opening that we could use to pull our drawers out. So this cabinet space is 20 and a half inches from side to side. The drawers or shelves are 19 and a half inches and each slide is a half an inch. So they fit perfectly, they fit tight, they're not loose, they're not sloppy. So it just works a lot better. To attach the slides to the drawers, I took some one inch by one inch aluminum angle iron and attached it underneath with rivets from the top. And that gave us the locations to screw the slides into here, here, and down here. So now we have really good access to our storage and we can really see what's going on. We like to make the use of as much storage as we can and this has given us that ability. So it's the same story on the other side as well, albeit the shelves are a little bit different size. We've still used 20 inch slides on these ones. So the top one of course has the relief in it for the drain and the sink and the bottom two are a little bit shorter than the other side but they're installed in the same fashion we've got reliefs here as well and the door has been cut down as well on this side so very pleased with the installation it gives us a lot better idea of what we've got stored and options for storing them so project complete satisfied <laughs> 